All right. I have three candles that I wanted to show you to give you some examples of what tunneling is. And tunneling is this stepladder appearance to the candles and it starts to burn just down the center and you can see on this particular candle how it's getting very deep here but real shallow here and you can see uh, this was just returned by a customer that thought that there was something wrong with the candle but you can see that the first time it burned to here the second time to here, third, fourth, fifth and then so on but each time the burn pool got smaller and smaller and you can tell that they just weren't burning it long enough of a candle that we did here in the store and some of our employees want to burn these out quickly and just give an example quickly to show how the candle burns and you can see how there's a shelf here and just terrible burns and you have a small pool here and this area will never burn and basically it'll just tunnel down and this is the only candle that you have left and a third example is this is a candle that I actually saved um, and I saved it when it was about this high and it looked worse than any of these it was just really a disgusting looking candle and I'm going to show you how to save a candle that's going to prevent tunneling in a candle is when you get your candle you want to make sure that you completely burn the top the whole top liquefies the very first time before you blow it out wax has memory so if you don't melt that top layer of wax it'll remember and it'll never melt on subsequent burns so no matter what candle you get the first time you burn it make sure that you completely melt the top after that you shouldn't have any problems the first and I've experimented with several things one time I took a hot air gun and tried to melt around the sides the problem is is it puts all this wax down into the smallest pool and it overflows your wick and you just can't do that and the only thing you can do is basically get rid of the wax layer down to the lowest point point. and what I do is I just take a spoon and start digging out and fill layer after layer until I get um, it looks like this customer was kind of doing a good job but they got into tunneling I'm not sure because you can see the layer here and we had to get down to this layer to get good green candle wax back so I'm just gonna keep going through this until I get down to that layer and just do it evenly and be very careful your wick in this candle and there's really no other way to do it there's no way to save your wax um, you're just going to flood the wick and cause more problems. You just have to bite the dust and get rid of all this wax to get it to save it. And, um, and we'll just keep doing this. And it's going to look a little bit messy. But the first time that you burn it after you do all this, everything will even out. But you really have to get all this wax out to save your candle. Otherwise, you basically have just a ruined candle. Maybe you can use it as a wax melter. Or you can save, if you want, you can save this wax and use it in a wax melter, uh, if you have one of those. But uh, for most of us, this is just a quick, easy way. You will get your hands a little waxy and dirty, but uh, works as a great moisturizer for your hands, too. You can just take that candle wax and rub it into your skin. You can see that I've got most of it off the sides, and it's a little bit lower around the side. I didn't want to get near the... Um, near the wick but what's going to happen is it's going to melt down into the sides and this is about all you need to do and you still have quite a bit of, of wax there some use but you wouldn't have had a candle to use had you not done that uh, and now we're going to just go ahead and light this and I'll show you how it burns from there What's going to happen is that wax will melt down off of the where the wick is off that plateau into the pool around there into the valley uh, and then we'll let that completely burn. Uh, it'll burn off all the stuff on the sides. It'll completely liquefy. Once it's done that we'll blow out the candle and it'll solidify and it'll look just like this one. The reason this one has a little bit of an edge here is because we were burning it on a table that wasn't even when I burned it around the wick is falling down to lower levels giving the wick more height and you can see now the wick is all lit up and it just should improve from there